Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I found a nice little app for that you can use for backing up your SMS messages. It's called SMS Backup and Restore. So let's go into the app and have a look. The first thing you want to do, especially if you are going to do a factory reset on your phone and that's the reason you want to back up your messages, is go into Preferences and ensure that the backup folder is set for an external um, storage card. That's obviously assuming that you have an ex external flash card in your um, phone. If you haven't, don't worry, there's a way of getting around it. If you do, set it for the external card because obviously you're going to be wiping your internal memory. Obviously, if you haven't got an external card, you won't have that option, but like I said, there's a way of getting around that. Okay, once we've gone out of that, we'll go back into the app and select the backup option. So we have a couple of um, different choices we can make. We can include, we decide to include MMS messages and emoji and special characters. You can select all conversations or selected conversations only. And when you choose to do the selected conversations, you simply highlight the conversations you want to copy. And press the back. Local backup only will just save it to the default path or the path you've set. Local backup and upload will be the one that you probably should use all the time if you can, just for next security, especially if you've only got a um, internal storage, no SD card, and you're going to do a factory reset. So you choose your ver one of your various uh, cloud devices and then click settings. You have to log in with your credentials. I'm using Google Drive for this demonstration. And then just click test to make sure it's all working okay and then save. Once all that's done, you simply press okay. I haven't got a huge number of um, messages on here, but so it's quite quick and it didn't fail with any messages. And this is just a little reminder of what I mentioned right at the beginning about that if you're doing a factory wipe, don't save the back to the um, backup file to the internal drive, either save it to the external card or to the cloud, otherwise you're going to lose your backup. Okay, of course, the next part of the process is to restore messages. So you have to simply click restore, select the backup you want to use, and if you're on above Android 4.4, all this is telling you is that it's going to have to now set this app as your default messaging app. Um, it's not too much a problem, but I'll show you what that involves in a second. So you simply click OK. And it's just warning again what I said, that it, this is now the default messaging app. Selected ones, restore. Your, if you want to restore MMS messages, select or unselect. Select and select not to restore duplicates. You can select to restore all messages. Or you can set a date. So you can say I only want to back up messages since a certain date. And you can set the date. I'm just going to go all messages and click OK. Again, very quick. And all my messages are restored. Now, like I just said, this again warn you about that it keeps reminding you of this thing about the default messaging app like I just said. So if we go into my messaging app, it's going to say basically I need to reset this as my default app because the backup and restore app has taken it over so you simply click OK or whatever you have to do on whatever messaging app you are to make it the default app. And now you can use that app as you would normally. Quickly go back into the um, app to have a look at a couple of other things. Clicking on view and then clicking on a backup folder will show you the message that has been saved. And if there's more than one message in the conversation, clicking on it will let you drill down into the individual messages. There's also a search function. I know some of these messages have my name in it, so I'll type my name here. Highlight the backup files I want it to search. And click the magnifying glass. As you can see, it's found a couple of messages with my name in it. We go back into the options. 
and preferences. There are various other preferences that you can set. Um, mainly still with login, theme, colors, what's to do on backup, uh, what it looks like. Just various options, you know, have a browse through them. It works perfectly. I haven't set any of these up, changed them, and it works fine. But you can have a browse through and have a look, and you might want to change some of them. There's another function that's quite useful, which is scheduled backups. And this means that you can set it, and just switch it on, to back up every, let's say, four days. You set a time that it starts doing it, so say 6 a.m. This means at 6 a.m. every four days, it will make a backup of all my contacts automatically, which is quite a useful function. And then you can say how long it keeps the backup for. So I probably only want it to keep the backup for eight days. I say the useful function means you don't have to keep thinking about doing it. And if something does go horribly wrong with your phone, obviously it's all backed up. And make, again, if you back it out to the cloud, even if you completely brick your phone, you drop it down the toilet or something like that, you'll be able to retrieve all your contacts. All you've got to remember, of course, if you're doing this auto backup and you are backing up to the cloud, is make sure at the time that you set it to backup, you've got some sort of uh, wireless signal, either Wi-Fi or mobile data, that allow it back up to the cloud. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.